Hi, my name is Brian Stratton. I lead the Flood Forecasting and Warning Program and Low Water Response Program for the Rita Valley Conservation Authority. You probably know that RVCA monitors the watershed for floods, but we also keep an eye on water levels during the driest months of the year. In the heat of the summer, our watershed is at risk of low water conditions that can affect local residents and businesses. Those affected by low water could include, in no particular order, boaters, farmers, municipal and private water supplies, golf courses, homeowners who have lawns and gardens, and the local ecosystem. There's not much we can do to prevent low water conditions, just as we can prevent flooding, but we can monitor the situation, make the public aware of the low water conditions, and try to change their habits. The RBCA leads the Rideau Valley Water Response Team, made up of staff from our partner municipalities, as well as several provincial agencies, such as the Ministry of Natural Resources and Forestry and the Ministry of the Environment, Conservation and Parks. Parks Canada is also a key member of this team. They manage the water levels and flows along the Rideau River and they are continuously monitoring the conditions and make changes to dams and other structures as required. The water response team typically meets every two weeks during the summer months or when conditions are dry. We look at water level and stream flow data collected from our gauges across the watershed as well as the amount of rain we've received and the weather forecast. Together we decide if current conditions require a response. Often that response is simple as informing the public of the dry conditions and asking them to conserve water. In the Rideau Valley watershed, we have several reservoir lakes that can help us manage low water conditions. Bob's, Christie, and Wolf Lakes are all at the upper reaches of the Rideau Canal and can be used to make sure other parts of the river downstream have enough water. But they too have their limits and they can be stressed during low water conditions. Low water can also affect the local ecosystem. If tributaries between wetlands, ponds, and rivers dry up, aquatic wildlife can get stranded. Without water flow, oxygen in the water disappears, which can lead to die-offs that require many years of recovery. It's pretty rare that low water conditions would affect municipal or private wells, but we do monitor the situation closely and educate the public on how to manage their wells during a dry spell. The main thing is to conserve as much water as possible until conditions improve.